Okay, people, let's talk, um, miles per gallon. Um, this is my 1970 Volkswagen Beetle. I've had it for a few years. I had to do some restoration on it. Put a new front beam, adjustable front beam. Um, did some body work on this thing. You know, got it to where it's at now, you know. So, um, I rebuilt the engine this past winter. I posted a couple of videos and pictures of it. So this was used to be a single port. So now I made a dual port. Um, I put uh, um, 1976 fuel injected heads on it because that's what I had. You know, I had to do this on a budget. So um, you know, I put pistons, um, new rings, new cam, lifters, uh, rebuild set of rods. So. Um, I balanced out the pistons, I did a small porting on it, mild, mild porting on it, just to clean up the casting and whatever. So, um, so I was, I checked, I was checking how many miles per gallon I was getting on this thing. So when I put the carburetor, you know, I put the engine together, whatever, I took it for a drive, I was only getting about 17 miles per gallon. And, um, that's pretty poor, I'm like, you know, I, all I did was put a cam, small cam on it, and it's an auto stick, but, you know. I ordered a factory cam, and they sent me a cam that has um, high lift, like, you know, so it's, it's almost like a 110. Um, I don't know the brand of the cam, but anyways, so I've been trying to see how many miles per gallon I'm getting, so I was getting on this thing around um, seven, you know, 17, 18 miles per gallon, and um, so I started messing with it. <laughs> So I, I replaced the, the fuel pump that I had because it, it was leaking through here. So I put this pump on it, you know, and every time I drive it, you know, um, you know, the car was running rich with the same mixture that I've had before, you know, same jetting. So this carburetor I modified, I cleaned it up all up, I took it all apart. I opened it up just a little bit in the inside because this this is, doesn't have the um, removable choke or the venturi so i put it out just a little bit i cleaned it up i polished the hell out of it right here in this area same thing here you know i just, you know cleaned it up so we have a little bit better flow so anyways i put the engine together i run the car about 17 18 miles to the gallon when before when this engine before i took it apart i was getting about 29 miles per gallon um but at that time the engine was old and you know worn out when I took it apart, I found out I had a broken oil ring, and um, it barely had like 75 pounds of cranking compression, but still the engine went everywhere. It drove me everywhere, no problems. And then I put a header on it, and I was getting about 19 miles per gallon, from 29 to 19, and all I did was put a header, like one of those pacer headers. So now, you know, back to, you know, to this engine, you know, I rebuilt it, made a dual port, and I'm using a 30-pick carburetor with a custom-made, um, adapter because the adapter that you usually get is for big carburetor small intake but this is um big intake small carburetor so how to modify it so it'll fit here and um so anyways i went to the jetting on it i started messing with it i found out that this pump right here is not throwing three pounds like it's supposed to this is an aftermarket chinese pump or whatever the hell it is this thing was throwing six pounds which is too much too much um fuel pressure for a small carburetor like this so um i had to put a regulator here just to test to see what i get right now it says six but it's not six because of the pressure whatever it's building up but when i start the car it's about three pounds which is more than enough so anyways, I changed, I changed some jettings, I checked, checked out the spark plug, how it was burning. It was burning pretty lean, you know, I checked the ceramic, it was kind of white. And around the rim was black, and the electro was still grayish, whitish, so I changed my, my jet. I went to the air jet, I changed it to a smaller one. Um, I, may, I cut, you know, I got a bunch of jets, so I changed, I go up in jet and down in jets. So finally, I got this thing to do 25 gal 25 miles per gallon. After a few weeks of trial and error, working on it, you know, I changed the distributor from a from the um, vacuum one. The vacuum was working fine, but I took it apart. 
I gotta put it back together and you know. But um, this is a uh, double nine. Um, one of those aftermarket ones. It's got the um, Compufire kit. You know, I I like the the stock point ones. You know, because if you know, the performance doesn't change that much putting this thing on it on a stock engine. I already tested all that out. You know, I already I can get better performance with a stock um um vacuum advanced um distributor them with with this one because i already went to the track with this car when i had my 1641 and um i did 15.9 two times with the um vacuum advance with the progressive and then i changed to this one and i did 16.1 and 16.2 so you really don't get that much performance you might start better run a little bit better but when you really test it out on the track that's where it's at and I wasn't getting the performance that I needed. So anyways, but I'm using it on this car, you know, because I was just testing it out, whatever. So um, this is my engine. It's a 1600 small valve, but it runs pretty good, you know. I was trying to get some fuel economy because lately my cars, they all swallow gas. And it's like, you know, this one is getting about 18, but this is 1835. It's been modified. It's got a lot of modifications done to it, especially on the head of the chambers and stuff like that. I made my own rocker arm um, assembly. So this engine should make about 160 to the wheels, naturally aspirated, but this engine is going to be turbo. That's the 1776 that I've had for about 10 years. This engine makes 140 to the wheels. Um, this one I'm just going to, I just took it out to test the other one. But this one right here, I'm going to sell it or refresh it again. You're supposed to new rings, you know, and do a valve drive on it and change to um, one point to fight rocker arm because this has the one-to-one -one rhino rockers and i'm still getting you know 140 horsepower to the wheels but anyways i'm just talking to you guys about the um you know miles per gallon and how to improve you know because i know once you do porting and polishing on the heads it does de decrease your miles per gallon um you know but all i did to this thing was just clean it up no big port or any of that just clean it up you know, it's got a small cam, which I didn't want to, but that's what it came in the box, and I wasn't going to take, you know, return it to, to wait a week or so to get it back together because I needed this engine because this is my daily driver car. You know, this thing has a pretty good heat, you know. Right now it's about 32 degrees, and when I drive that car, the ambient temperature on this car is about 70 degrees inside. So, anyways, I'm going to start it right up. Well, see how it starts. So this engine has about 150 miles on it. It's got a small cam on it. sticker I don't know where to put it if I should put it in the back window side window well it's hard to see but it says Johnny performance I don't know if I should put one on one in each window or in the back window or none or somewhere in the engine bay I don't know yet but this is my sticker Johnny performance anyways you sharing with you guys um leave some comments some thoughts and if you want you can follow me in um YouTube Johnny, that's J O N Y, space V W sixty five. That's in YouTube. You can see some of my videos there. I appreciate it. All right, take care. God bless.